What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Angelo from Caps on Fire and in this video today I'll be showing you guys how to properly install and also back up your font files. Okay, so before we go ahead and get this video started, I want you guys to click the subscribe button below and also be sure to check in the description as I do have a Facebook group available where all we do is talk about sublimation things and different ideas, um, post questions, you know, and just provide some type of help to the entire uh, sublimation community. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this on the road. So the very first thing you guys want to do is download a font. All right. But before we can do that, we have to find a proper website to get fonts from. Um, I normally recommend thefont.com because they have a broad selection of fonts and they update their fonts constantly almost every day. Um, there is another one called 1001 fonts. That's cool as well. But for some reason, I just choose the font over them. All right. So. First thing we want to do is find a font that we are interested in. I like this one right here. All things must pass. So the very first thing we want to do is once we come to the font.com and find the one that we want, we come over here to download on the side, click on download. And as you can see down here in the corner, it'll start downloading it to our computer. Now, once we have it downloaded, we have to find it. So we just minimize this open our let's see open our file explorer and go to downloads and here it is right here all right so let's just drag and drop this onto our desktop right click on it and go to extract all once you extract it you must remember wherever your folder is at when you go to extract it will automatically extract it in the same location as your folder so since our folder is on our desktop when we press the extract button it'll pop up right here next to it or right here <laughs> all right so now that we extracted that folder now we will now what we want to do is click on the file drag and drop this to our desktop as well now, once we have this on our desktop, we just right click on it and press install. And that's it. It is installed onto our computer. Now, the next step we want to do is we want to back up this uh, font file. So to do that, we just right click on our desktop or wherever you're going to put your new folder at. Just right click, go to new, go to folder and type in fonts. Now we just uh, select this font again, drag and drop it into our fonts folder, and then that's it. We have successfully backed up that font. So now whenever you guys install your new fonts, I always, always recommend you back up all your fonts, okay? When you save a font, well not when you save a font, but when you save your actual design, to your computer like if you're like if you're um if you're designing something in GIMP or in silhouette or in different design programs when you make a design and you save that file it's only saving the file it's not saving the actual font so if you were to like if your computer was to crash one day and you had all your files backed up on your computer of your design programs and not your fonts when you go to upload those new designs or those saved designs on a new computer or transfer over to a new desktop or whatever, it's only going to load the file. It's not going to load any type of design, any type of wordings that you have within your file. All right. So that way, you know, by you doing this, you can save all your fonts and not lose all that hard, 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 hard work that you guys put into your projects. All right. So that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. Um, this is a fairly short one, um, but hey, that's pretty much everything, all right? So before I go, please, please, please click the subscribe button below. And also don't forget to check the description as I have my link to my Facebook group down there and also a link to my Etsy shop, Etsy shop where I sell different things like sublimation ink, um, some of the designs that I make and various other items. All right, so that's it, you guys. I'll see you all next time. Angelo out.